Kurori hararu kia i hoa ngā mano Matua tama waira tapu anihera kono i te maanga he tutu ko mai Ai e nei a kene e ai Tēnā tātou, day 94 So I, we have just entered into the second day of November And we are officially six days away from celebrating a hundred years of the arrival of the Wairua Tapu. Uh, so far now, I know a lot of us are, are excited. Uh, we're starting to prepare our, you know, probably folding clothes now. Starting to pack things away. And I guess over the weekend, people will be doing their last minute shopping for their bits and pieces for the big hui. Um, and kapai. So over the last couple of days, I've been talking about getting into this, some discussions in terms of some of the events that led up to the event of the um, 8th of November. So yesterday we dropped the story about the two whales. So basically what happened there, I, the first whale came ashore and pretty much had a peaceful passing. Um, the second wave came and a second whale came also with that. And it is noted that when this second whale came onto the shore, it was bleeding profusely and it was thrashing around around on the beach. Um, and then, quite interestingly, Ratana uh, was overcome by the wairua tapu. Uh, he prayed for this whale and he etched his initials uh, on its underbelly. And as a result, the whale revived and it went back out into the ocean. And so basically, um, stories shared by Te Hura was that the first whale represented Ngā mahi o Te Ture Wairua, uh, Ngā mahi o Te Arepa, and so through that, it was noted that the mahi of Te Arepa would be a lot easier compared to the work that would be required in, in the Ture Tangata side, Te Tiri Te Waitangi, Mana Moti Hake, it was clear that that mahi was going to be a challenge. Uh, so which brings us to the second story, which happened a couple of days after the arriving of the two whales and the whangaihu. And so this is about the story of the first healing that Ratana performed. And quite interestingly, this actually took place before the 8th of November. And so in this process, uh, basically the story goes like this. Um, the children were playing, Omeka starts crying, and basically uh, through that, uh, Ratana and Turumanao had to rush to Omeka to the hospital, where they found out that there was a needle lodged in the side of his knee. And so the doctor did a few things, wrapped up the wound and all that sort of stuff. Ratana and his wife took uh, their son back to um, back home and they did whakamomiti they prayed for him and so in the praying Tomika was healed and as he was healed Taupo Tsuki Urumuratana went back uh, to go do his worldly things that he was doing back then so he went back down to the pub uh, got on it got on the beers um, and then when he comes back home he finds out that Omika's um, he's returned and he's got back his, his wounds um, so uh, Ratana has to get into prayer mode again and obviously uh, Tomika gets better and so Ratana again goes back to his worldly ways gets back on it and all that sort of stuff and same thing happens to Tomika uh, his wounds start playing up and he starts uh, crying painfully and so Ratana realizes that actually um, there's some mahi that needs to be done. And we talked about this earlier, that when Ratana went around promoting the kaupapa of the Ture Tangata, there was a scripture that he worked under, and it was Matthew chapter 6. Basically, it talks about seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness, and everything you so desire shall be given to you. And so when Ratana and Turu Manao entered into whakamomiti, um, that was them seeking the kingdom. And so this kupu actually tells us, tells us that there's actually two parts. And so seeking uh, the kingdom is one part, 
but also making sure that you are executing yourself in righteousness. And so that was probably the, the other component that Ratana was struggling with. And so he starts to figure out that I, I have to fakatika some of my behaviors. And so I guess that's the lesson, one of the first lessons that we're being taught. And so in that, um, I seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. You can't have one without the other. And there are a lot of people out there who think that they can actually get away with I. I love God, um, and then on the other side, they still want to stick to their physical ways. The scripture actually tells us, actually, we need to get it right both ways. Faith and action goes together. What we think of in our hearts needs to match with what we do in our actions. And so that's this whole quarter about Matthew chapter 6, and that's one of the first lessons that we get um, through the healing of Teomika. And now, quite interesting to note that it wasn't Te Arepa that had the um, that had to go through this Tomaha process. It was actually Teomika. So there again, when we reflect on Ratana not being able to complete uh, the Mahi of Teomika, this kupu tells us, uh, this event tells us something really, really important. And that if we want to get our, want to see the returning of our whenua, if we want to realize mana motuhake, one of the most important things that we need to realize is kia kahatonu te inoi. And so it was through strong prayer, through strong whakamoimiti, that te omika was healed. And so the same thing applies today, whānau. How bad do we want our whenua? How bad do we want our mana motuhake? Seek the kingdom, seek his righteousness. And so, it's quite interesting that the incomplete mahi of Ratana were, the actu were actually the first messages that we were actually receiving prior to the arrival of the Wairua Tapu. And so we get all of this stuff first-hand whānau, and this is what it's about. This is what the whole Maramatanga Minute Kopap is about. It's actually realising this kupu and having a think about what are we going to be doing on the 9th of November, the 10th of November, 11th of November? Um, so, my uh, wai honga kororo mo wa. But basically, I I hope that was uh, that landed with some of our whanau out there. Faith in action. You can't have one without the other. You can't say you love God, but your actions are different. They both have to be the same. And so these were the teachings that um, we're being taught through um, Tilmika being healed. They have to go together, seeking Iho's kingdom and doing right under him. So, no reira, uh, ngā manaki tanga o Ihoa, ki rongi a tātou katoa, matua, tama, wairua tapu, honore ki ngā ane herapongi te māngā ngāriki, he kai āwhina, he kai tautoko mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai.